My name is Murray Lyle, I'm leader of Perth and Kinross Council. I'd like to welcome you all here today. This is a wonderful opportunity for us to showcase Perth as part of this conference. Historic. Beautiful. Passive. Architecture. Future. Collaborative. Entrepreneurial. Imaginative. Enthusiastic. Sleepy. Home. Community. Picturesque. Quiet. Hesitant. Creative. People. Congested. Elderly. Sustainable. Unfulfilled. Ambitious. And opportunity. So Perth itself is a wonderful place, great place to live, um, fantastic quality of environment. It's always been well regarded for that, its quality of life. It's the geographical heart of Scotland, I think I can say that as the Chief Executive of Geographical Society, but um, it's also the historical heart of Scotland. It was uh, very much the sort of centre of uh, the Southern Pictish Kingdom and is probably the only part of Scotland that has always been in what we would define as Scotland. It's actually thought to be possibly the oldest town in Scotland. The meaning of the town is unclear. It's partly because it's lost in history, but all of the various meanings clearly lend themselves to the landscape. I think Perth is one of Scotland's uh, historical gems. We have uh, beautiful historic buildings in the centre of the city. We are different from other cities because we have two inches. We have a north inch and a south inch beside the Tay. We've got some of the richest agricultural land anywhere. We've probably got the best soft fruit industry, certainly in Scotland. Perth has some extraordinary attributes. One is its heritage, particularly in energy, mobility and finance. Also its location, it is the gateway to the seven cities of Scotland and indeed the rest of the UK and Europe. It's small, so it's so very, very easy to scale. It's got fantastic natural resources, it's got wind, it's got rain, it's got rivers, etc. It just needs to be a bit bolder in its decision making with those assets. From a public transport point of view, fantastic connectivity. Uh, I mean, we're here right at the heart of Scotland, connecting to north, south, east and west. The River Tay is actually designated as a special area of conservation. So it has some of the largest populations in the world of salmon. Well, I love the Tay reed beds. They are Britain's most extensive and continuous area of reed bed. I've never been so aware anywhere that I've lived of the seasons through the animals I see. So there is a season for frogs and a season for hedgehogs and a season for hares. And being that intimately related to nature feels like a, such a great thing for mental health. The greenery, the way that Perth has been designed, is actually quite unique. Um, we have an awful lot of green space centrally within the city. It's quite a flat city, which actually makes it really easy to get about on foot and by bike. Um, and actually, I think it's quite unique in that respect. I think you can be anywhere in the city and be in the countryside within a mile. The, the natural landscape in terms of Canoe Hill, um, the, the inches to the north and the south, it's a wonderful balance of the, the city and all its services and then this fantastic natural environment. We've uh, had an office in Perth for many, many years and for an organisation that's interested in promoting the outdoors, hill walking, climbing and ski touring, it's a fantastic location for us, really central. But Perth itself, fantastic city for anyone that loves the outdoors. It was the crops, it was the barley that was grown, uh, it, it was the environment that gave rise to a place for making good quality whiskey and there's no coincidence that Dewar's was based here, Bell's was based here and Famous Grouse was based here. A very famous uh, son of the area is Patrick Geddes who grew up on Canoole Hill and Geddes of course is pretty much the father of town planning and has lent us many of the phrases we still use today about the environment. Most obviously think global, act local, which was Patrick Geddes He's from Perth, he grew up in Canole, and that connection with nature was absolutely integral to the way that he thought. Perth and the, the surrounding area have fantastic potential within a kind of a food basis as well. Uh, there's a very strong culture of independent retailers. A lot of those independents grow locally. We've got, I suppose, a food supply chain locally from food, uh, alcoholic beverages, the full kind of gambit. But I think a lot of people look to open a business here because it's a place that actually seems to appreciate and look forward to having new independent businesses. I think it's really important to recognise that the whole world needs to take action on climate change. The whole world is taking action on biodiversity loss and sustainability. We have to do this. This isn't an either or. This is simply do we want to lead this or do we want to trail it in the back and follow? And I think there is a huge opportunity 
for a place like Perth with the quality environment we already have, with the interest that we already have, with the companies that we already have, to build on that and create real leadership in one of the most critical issues of our generation. We must have the foresight to realise that Perth and the world around it is moving really very, very quickly. And we've got to have the courage and ambition to adapt and innovate to make sure that Perth's future is just as fabulous as its past.